Coming from a famous lineage can be a double-edged sword. One can either feel the pressure of being the son of a legend or it can either open the doors for you. But either ways, it is tough to be the child of a famous parent. Matthias Lauder, son of the legendary Formula One driver Nicky Lauder, also went through a similar experience. NNIS speaks to Matthias on growing up to be a child of a famous father and to be just another driver in the grid. Matthias, who is a part of the AD Racing Delhi team for the inaugural edition of the X1 Racing League, a franchise-based motorsports competition founded by Indian racers Arman Ibrahim and Aditya Patel, talks about his India visit. I mean, I've, I've, I know about India since I'm a little kid, movies and stuff like this, but it's always a country that I wanted to, to visit, especially all the coasts from India, I, I would like to go. With a bit more time because I'm also, uh, beside racing, my big passion is uh, surfing and I know India has some, some good waves. So hopefully after the race here in Delhi, I have a bit of time that I can go surfing in, in Chennai. With the X1 Racing League, Lauda Jr. believes it will be a crowd puller. Yes, for sure. I mean, uh, the population here is so big and there's, for sure there's, there are a lot of people that like uh, car racing and formula, uh, follow F1, follow, follow motorsport in Europe. And uh, that for sure there's a market for, for local series and they do it at the same format how they do the football and the cricket with the franchises that di different cities battle against each other and makes it very interesting. F1 which came to India in 2011 paved the way for motorsports in India believes Matthias. You know, I think F1 it was great uh, just to open up the, the education about motorsports in, in general so that people know exactly what's Formula 1. They can follow it in TV, they had a race here, so it, it, it brings more interest in motorsport. And if you now, after a couple of years after F1, you bring your own championship with the system, with the franchise, with the different cities battling against each other, for sure it, it can be successful. But he fails to understand why the F1 wasn't a success in India. I, I still don't understand why F1 didn't, didn't stay in India. I think it, it, they have a great track, they have a big population, they have a big market for F1. The reason why it didn't work out, I, I don't know all the details, but after the loss of F1, it's also a new opportunity for X1 racing. It, it gives a boost, it, it for sure it's much cheaper than F1, and, and, and yeah, if, if, yes, for sure there's a lot of work to do, but I think uh, there's a lot of potential in it. Being friends with former Indian F1 driver Naren Kartikeyan, Matthias recalls his experience of racing with the Indian. Yeah, for sure. I, I know a couple. I know, like, like Narayan Kartikeyan, I know him since I started racing in 2002. We raced in the same championship back in Europe. I know him since a long time. And uh, also uh, Alex Young, I know from racing against each other in A1GP many years ago. And uh, some local uh, drivers I know also. And I think, yeah, we're going to have a lot of fun. As he grew up under the shadow of his father, Matthias knew he had to move away from his famous surname and create a Nietzsche for himself. No, in the end of the day, when you start racing, the only reason why I started is for the passion that I have for the sport and for the love for the sport and not to, to carry my, my father's uh, name. My goal is to become a professional driver and, and I started racing quite late when I was in my 20s. Beginning of my 20s with my father, he, he didn't let me race before. But in the end, uh, yeah, uh, it, it makes you more hungry if you're not allowed to do something. It makes you work harder. And in the end of the day, the, the name does make you faster. Talking about his father, who was hailed as one of the F1's all-time greats, Matthias said. Yes, as, a kid, as a kid, he was always my hero and, and I always wanted to be like him. So, yeah, it's, it's normal and it just comes like, it comes like natural that I wanted to start racing, but then he was always uh, against it, so it was a bit of a battle in the beginning. But then once I became a professional driver, we had a good relationship about it. Growing up, the X1 driver was also inspired by the great Alan Frost and Ayrton Senna. Yeah, I looked up to all the big drivers like uh, Alan Frost, Ayrton Senna. Other than car racing, the 38 years old has an interest in surfing and cycling. No, when I was a kid, my goal is always to become a, a professional race car driver. And yeah, and this is what I achieved. And I have now a lot of interest in other sports like surfing or cycling. And I follow football a lot back in Spain. But my, my main goal was always to become a race car driver. 
with the regular mention about his legendary father, Matthias has just one answer, your name doesn't make you faster. No, for me it's, for me it's, I didn't care much, my only goal is to do what I love the most and to do it well and work hard. The name does make you faster, it helps maybe in the beginning a little bit, but then you're just one more driver in the grid.